At Cincinnati Children's, researchers have made a remarkable discovery involving the virus that causes mono. In a recently published study, scientists report the Epstein-Barr virus also increases the risks for some people of developing seven other major diseases. The diseases include lupus, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, juvenile idiopathic arthritis, inflammatory bowel disease, celiac disease, and type 1 diabetes. This discovery is probably fundamental enough that it will, it will spur many scientists around the world to reconsider the role of this virus in these disorders. Dr. John Harley is the lead researcher and director of the Center for Autoimmune Genomics and Etiology, or CAGE. He has devoted much of his career to studying lupus and a connection to the Epstein-Barr virus, or EBV. The most recent study shows that a protein produced by the virus called EBNA2 binds to multiple locations along the human genome that are associated with lupus and the six other diseases. So environmental factors such as viral or bacterial infections, poor diets or pollution can interact with the human genetic blueprint and as a result, influence the risk for disease. Now that we can do genomics that we couldn't do 10 years ago, we ask the question, well, does the genomics of the virus interact with the host in a way that would be consistent with the possibility that the virus might be causing the disease? And so the answer to that so far is yes. Components that the virus make look like they interact with human DNA in the places where the genetic risk of the disease is increased. And not just for lupus, but all these other diseases too. The Cincinnati Children's Research Team looked at how the virus takes over. It's a process that involves tiny proteins called transcription factors. These proteins constantly move along the strands of our DNA turning specific genes on and off to make sure cells function as expected. Before, we've always thought about the transcription factors that regulate human gene expression being human, which makes sense. But in this case, when this virus infects cells, it makes its own transcription factors, and those sit on the human genome at lupus risk variants, and that's what's increasing risk for the disease. To closer analyze the connection between disease genetics and the Epstein-Barr virus, Dr. Matthew Wyrock, a computational biologist, and his team at CAGE gathered massive sets of genetic data. Then researchers created two new algorithms, analyzing every genetic change affecting the activity of the virus. Uh, the genes are along here, and the regulatory proteins are along here. In these images, the color blocks represent clusters of transcription factors. The more boxes filled in, the stronger the implications of the proteins and the disease. And that's basically saying that this same cast of characters is a villain in multiple autoimmune diseases. They're playing that role through different ways, so they're doing it at different places in your genome, but it's the same sinister characters. And so if we could develop therapies to stop them from doing this, then it could help multiple diseases. So far, no vaccine exists to prevent EBV infection. Researchers at CAGE hope their study will help expedite efforts that are currently underway. At Cincinnati Children's, the research team is already taking next steps. Their findings have uncovered potential leads for many other diseases, including breast cancer. The hope would be that we could understand these disorders at a level in which we could eliminate them. And so just the idea that scientific progress is, is entirely possible, that we can make a difference and we can move things forward, this, I hope, turns out to be a small step in that direction.